Roll for Crit is made possible thanks to the support of viewers like you and our patrons on our Patreon page. You can become a patron for just $1 a month at patreon.com slash roll for crit. Thanks for joining us on this digital review of Root, the popular game from Leader Games, but this is the digital adaptation from Dire Wolf Digital. Root is a game of war amongst different factions of cute, furry critters. <laughs> you can play as the cats who are trying to overrun the board or the birds who have their sort of own programming language going on. It's not a programming language, but uh, they're programming their <laughs> actions via cards. Uh, or you can be the vagabond who's kind of doing his own thing and making deals with other players. Or the Woodland Alliance who's trying to spread uh, their message and trying to revolt against the other powers. We're not going to go into the full, full details of how the game works and plays. If you're unfamiliar with the original board game, we do have a how to play video, so you can f get full in-depth details on that one. But essentially, it's an area control building game where each faction plays very, very differently. They're totally asymmetric. So depending on what you are, you're going to be doing totally different actions on your turn. You have different pieces that you make use of. You will be entering into various spots on what I'm going to call the board. But uh, since this is the digital version, that term doesn't really apply <laughs> here any longer. Uh, and you might ba do battle with each other. You might build new things. You might craft cards that give you advantages. Ultimately, you're trying to gain a certain number of victory points or you can get dominance by having control of different uh, types of regions if you have one of the special dominance cards. And one of the things I want to start with in this one is kind of going back to what I said just now about whether or not the term board applies because I do feel like compared to a lot of other digital adaptations of board games, this one really goes very far in the direction of making it look and feel more like a video game. There's, you, I really, I mean, of course you are still drawing cards and you have a hand of cards, uh, but nowadays that's like, you know, you have Slay the Spire, the, there's like other mm -hmm. games that that's a thing in already. Uh, there isn't much to remind you that this was once from a physical table. I feel like they did a good job really adapting it to the digital format. I guess, I guess uh, for me, there's still those things like, yeah, there's the card and you mentioned those games, but there's also like when combat happens, there's still a die that's rolled. It's not a terrible thing. Cause it's true, but I feel like I still, I see that crop up more. Like, I feel like because it's an influence from board games and other video games, it doesn't feel as out of place to me maybe at this point. Maybe. But yeah. And I, I, that's not me saying anything bad against those mechanics either. I mean, like we said, we have the how to play and review earlier. We, we like this game a lot. So seeing this as a digital adaptation is great. In terms of playing uh, with other players, there is a pass and play as well as online. And you can play with AI, though, uh, from what I can tell uh, with you, Jonathan, that is different from the AI components found in the board game version. Yeah, in the original board game, there is uh, more solo modes that sort of work differently, whereas in uh, the video game version, it's they, they really just are emulating actual players. So it feels more like that. I can't speak to the, um, you know, the intelligence of the AI in this game because it's hard for me to gauge that because I'm also just not very good. At We're already <laughs> the lowest intelligence. Everything already <laughs> seems difficult for us no matter what. So some people might feel like they're too easy or something, but uh, t I, I had my experience was pretty positive. I thought that the games felt competitive and and yeah not i don't unfair. it wasn't i think too crazy uh, i think crazy for me when which i think is a them. is something worth saying considering how you know complicated all these different factions are well let's actually talk about the tutorials and that's something where i love and hate at the same time only because uh if you've never played root before so if you haven't played root like you, i think you said this earlier you mentioned how they're different teams they're all eight very asymmetrical it's not like, oh, this guy gets an extra production phase or something. It's like, no, the bird plays very differently from the Marquise of Cats. And so the tutorial, they actually have five tutorials. One that's pretty much just basically understanding the mechanics. And then one for each group. And my only problem with that, and I love that they do that, is just the only problem is if you've never played Root before, I highly suggest when you play, don't go through all of them at once. Because I think for some people that's like learning a lot. Just like... Play the bird one, then play a game as the birds. 
I will say I might disagree with you on that. I will say if you like, definitely don't be, don't feel like you have to do that. I guess like that's what be, I mean. Like don't if you if you're like, oh, I don't want it. This is going to take a lot of time to get into. But on the other hand. I almost, I kind of loved it. I like I, if I was playing this with people, introducing them to the first time, and they were willing to put in the effort. I would almost want to say you should play through all of them because it gives you such a better understanding of what the other players are doing. And I feel like the game really clicks a lot better once you understand that you're like, especially your first time playing. And maybe it's different because. We had that experience already, but not just knowing, oh, I want to take out the birds for whatever reason, but actually realizing, oh, I see they're about to go into decline based on what what they've assigned to their different actions. So if I go here, that's going to stop them and that'll be like a good play. I actually thought I, I liked that they that was an option. At least. Uh, you know, that's just me and it could depend on the player, you know. Yeah, it's I think not that... really it's not like that's why it's not really a bad thing <laughs> i mean you can choose either one so there's no negative here really and then in addition to the you know all the multiplayer options there's online play and everything mm -hmm. uh they have all these challenges oh in this they're one. so good and those are like now try playing as this faction and win in a specific way or uh, the map is a little bit different or in this one there's a variant where you can use the rivers to cross between spaces uh and that's great I, you know I, i'm always i always love in these digital games when they have some kind of a something for you to work through like that. And these are all, they're all really fun. And they, I think they, in addition to the tutorials, will teach you to like, think about the game in different ways. And I really like, it cause it does force you to engage with maybe certain parts of the game that you might avoid. I'm going to be honest. And maybe this is a bad strategy. I tend not to like the dominance win. I feel like it's can be easy to predict and stopped, but with the challenges, mm -hmm. like, guess what? You're doing that. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to learn how to do that. And that probably makes me a better player while also like having to think differently. So I love the fact they include different weird challenges. Like I'm not weird, but like forcing you to play out a strategy like, okay, how does this work now? How am I going to win the game like this way? I yeah. thought that was fantastic. Yeah. And they have one for like all the groups. So right. there, there is not like just a few weird things. There's a lot there for you to dig into. And I felt that way about the game in general, you know, uh, love the original physical route. But for example, I, I never, I don't even know that I ever really played a full game as the Eerie. Uh, but with this, it gave me the opportunity to do that. And I was like, oh, I actually really like the way they play and I'm having a lot of fun. And because I don't have to get a group together and I don't have to set it all up, it's easy for me to try out that different faction in different ways. So yeah. And in particular, I know for me with, when it comes to the Eerie, uh, it feels sort of nice because of how badly I screwed them up. Like, not like playing poorly. I played them illegally, not in my favor. <laughs> the first, the very first time we played. Yeah, the very first time. Which I was like that, three years ago now, and you still haven't gotten over it. <laughs> well, I, didn't, I just remembered because it, it was hilarious because no one noticed it. I just was like, and then it was like the last turn, and I was just like, oh, Will, you're supposed to do that. I was like, what? Oh, no. <laughs> just yeah. hitting my head so at don't, the table. So that's a great thing about this version. You can't cheat in it. <laughs> Crits and misses for the digital adaptation of Root. Crits. This is an accurate translation of the board game's rules to the digital format, but it manages to feel really transformed into the video game world thanks to the animations and the intuitive UI. There are many challenges for you to work through that encourage you to think about the game differently and will keep you occupied even if you can't get a group of other players together. These challenges will add tons of extra gameplay hours for you as you try to solve how these factions will deal with the different scenarios that they throw at you. There are included tutorials for each of the factions as well as the overall basic gameplay. It walks you through everything, so even a game as complex as Root becomes a little bit easier to manage. One of the things we love about Root was the asymmetrical teams, but we also mentioned it's almost like learning four different games sometimes. Having tutorials for everyone will cut down on the learning curve to make sure everyone has a good time. Misses. I wasn't too crazy about how the models looked for the, uh, the troops or characters. I felt they maybe looked like they were from a couple generations back. The original Root has a beautiful art style, and it's not exactly a one-to-one -one translation. Some of you may be hearing that last miss and just being like, it's a little nitpicky and also that's it. Well, yeah, 
We really love Root, and we think this captured this very well. Uh, in fact, I know Jonathan, when I we usually make our crits and misses separately, then bring them together. When I read mine, he's like, really? I liked it. And I think that's fine. It's not like it's horrific or ugly or anything. I just wasn't crazy about it. Other than that, everything I loved. I mean, it, you can play solo, it's got AIs, it's got online. The challenges add so much more variety to the game and force you to try out different strategies. I mean, it's a great game with a great digital adaptation. Yeah, Root is a game that I don't think is an easy one to translate to the digital format because of everything we've said. There's so many different things you have to take into account going on at every at any given time. Well, you have to program how they all interact with each other. And I think Direwolf Digital knocked out of the park. And to me, this is like a standout. Like this is an example of this is how I wish all digital games were done. I think it looks great. I think it feels great. Even if you don't love like the specific art style, uh, like I was saying before, I, f I feel like this is a board game adaptation that I think you could introduce this to people who weren't interested in board games and they wouldn't ever feel like it felt off. I, I think it really feels right at home as a video game, uh, you know, next to stuff like Slay the Spire, these other sort of um, board game inspired hybrids. video games. Yeah, hybrids that exist now. Uh, and yeah, it, it reminded me of how much I love Root. And I, I, I was really happy. I was excited to keep playing and try the different challenges and try out the new factions and all that. So I couldn't recommend it any stronger. I mean, it's uh, it, it, do, it does everything pretty, pretty much the best way I would ask for them to do it. Just interested to see when they'll, of course, add the rest of the expansions and later, you know, newer factions that have been added since this came out. And also a great thing about the digital version is if there's errata or whatever, you can just patch that in if people are complaining about balance. Although I think at this point they've ironed out most of that. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's one of the things with any kind of digital version of a board game. You always have to wait a bit longer for the uh, expansions, but, you know, that. That's almost every digital board game adaptation. I will say it's like a secret crit or a thing I really love. Ooh. Just just the opening menu, all the vagabonds playing music. I could just leave that going. <laughs> it's Great. nice. I love it. The music is nice. <laughs> yeah, That's I mean, good. overall, I it just I think both of us just can't not recommend. I, I, it's just too good. We you you really should look into this. Yes. I mean, Root was already a great game. And this should help helps out so many different ways of being online if you're not together or if you just can't get other people to play with you. There's so many different fun ways to play. It just seems like a, just a, a, almost a must. If you are new to Root or you're a fan, you're looking for more ways to play, jump into this one. Uh, we played it, the Steam version. Uh, you can go check it out because it's available right now. We'll put a link. You can buy it in the description. And you can leave a comment below if you've played the digital version of Root. What did you think about it? Which faction do you like? Do you want to, Are you going to force your friends to sit through all five tutorials before they play with you? <laughs> or will you give them the easy way out? <laughs> Let us know. Uh, my name is Jonathan. I'm Will. And this has been Roll for Crit. Hey, go ahead, like and subscribe and support our Patreon for even more board game content. Support us now to hear the audio expansion, where you can hear all the other nerdy things we've been up to.